I'm Drushnik, and welcome back to another episode of Rumian Hierarchy in Stellaris Distant Stars. We have a lot of uh, dots here on this map that are crying out to do something with them. But uh, yeah, we're going to be sending our science ships soon, I promise. Now in the meantime, the Hasukar Imperium is um, looking at this space, and uh, I want it. Is, is it both both Hasukar? Yep. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not allowed to expand over there. Now, they are... Actually, they... Yeah, they can. They are hampered by the Aether Drake, who is uh, up here. We can't see him right now, of, co of course, but he's there. Um, but, yeah, they can go through here and then still get here. So, that is all going to be mine. Now, there's one thing I just noticed in between episodes, and... Wait, where are you? Tile blocker cleared. I saw you before. Hmm, I saw a System nice... Survey oh, complete. I know why it's gone now. Construction complete. I know why it's gone. There was a... Um, what's it called again? Ah... Uh, a megastructure. Wow. Here. Over here, I think. But, uh, yeah, we can't see it anymore because we don't have any contacts with... Um, the Oxbraxy. Uh, we have an anomaly, life signs in Reganus. Let's see if we can get it back. The active sensor link. And we'll give you uh, just a little bit of minerals. Just uh, to get you through the month. There we go. Yep. Here, in the brick. The ruined Dyson Sphere. Look at how pretty it is. Wow. So that's another reason to um, find a way to integrate them into uh, our very nice society. Because I want the ruined Dyson Sphere. Okay, let's get the Starbase Outpost here and uh, get the Havariga civilization into our territory. Silicon life form. Some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Reganus II. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Now, we cleared the tile here so we can build the stronghold and get more defense armies. And our Starfleet can be upgraded again, so let's do that. We need to keep it uh, up to par. Okay, so why can't you? Our ships have been made superior. What do we? What do we click to make you? Eh, get the 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 probe here. Like what? 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 Why? Why are you not listening to me? Eh. Oh well. You could go to Bij though, and um, research the project over there, I guess. Maybe the- is it a bug, guys? Why- why can't I make this work? I know there should be a probe, and I need to search the Dorfel system, but... I don't know how. Could be, uh, my noobishness. Construction could very conflict. well be the case, but, um, if you know, let me know. Now, I am inclined to guarantee the Illuminate independence. They are inferior uh, in multiple achieved. ways, so let's try and do that and see what happens. Construction complete. Oh, but it will cost of influence. Never mind. Ha! <laughs> Starhold. Rail guns, defense platform, hull points. Oh, we don't have defense platforms yet. Complete. Destroyer hull points would be good. Construction yeah. complete. Okay, let's do this first, and then the living metal. Now, you have done this for us. You should get uh, this. You got this civilization. Build the mining stations. Oh, and we need the, uh, the observation post as well. And then you are on Jabra Hut. Oh yeah, you built some uh, mining stations. Um, let's get the research first. Anomaly Oops, found. that's the wrong ship. Unusual energy readings. Hang on. Wrong ship. Wrong ship. Stop. Stop what you're doing. 
you need to build the observation post. And then build all the mining stations. And you are going to be... Let's see. Doing this. And that. And then that. It's a little bit of micromanaging, I know. Um, okay, so do we want the fleet command limit increased by 20 in fire rate? Yeah, we kind of do. So let's get the claim influence cost reduction. Not that we're using it right now, but when we want to, we can. We have a new human we can resettle. And we don't have humans on Catneep yet, so let's change that. And put you here. Oh, we can't. There we go. Put you here. Dude, why you no go? Why you're being stubborn? Uh, let's put you here and then I'll resettle you after. So. Very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Okay. Now you're growing there. You should be growing somewhere else. Doesn't really matter that much where though. Um, and you could use... I could use you here. And then I'll build uh, an energy... Let's see. Power plant. Micro singularity. Recently intersected a cella to A, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the moon. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study might be warranted. Hmm, fascinating. So let's get. Ooh, the temple. We need that too. Yeah, let's do that first. Special project complete. Temple. The Zulkor are swarming insect analogues, unusual both for their large size and the fact that they are lithophores, feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground. One of the shuttles belonging to the ISS Imagro sustained serious damage when it in inadvertently passed through a large swarm, and several Zulkors began to feed on its hull. Ouch. The construction of the special containment facilities required to hold these creatures has already begun at the Museum of Exobiology on Arumis. Now, I would like you... Eh, I need a clear tile for that, though. Hmm, should we clear a tile? Kinda want food, but okay. Construction complete. Let's just do the mining network first. And then shoes. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade, um... Reassembled ship shelter. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Biolab 2, very good. Ooh, monthly unity plus five! Is there anything better? Sick. Oh. No, this first. Hang on, hang on. Um, you should not be on an energy tile. And then, let's see what we can build. We also need the gene clinic. Oh, you're not born yet. Oh, you are. System survey complete. Here we go. Arumis. Are we gonna do the biolab first? We probably should, and then upgrade the reassembled ship shelter. Okay. Can you get the other energy production thing? Thank you. Now, this science ship has already finished... Okay, let's see. Let's see. You should probably do some extraction of goodness for us. And I don't believe... Oh yeah, we can go here. You have closed your borders, right? Yeah. Find a way to get there. I don't care how you do it, just do it. You're gonna be uh, on a long, long... Uh, what is it called? Wow. Order. Mission. 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 Sometimes these English words just elude me. Now we could do some aggressive observation. We do have the ways to sustain that now. Or indoctrination. Kind of like that. Through subtle influencing of their society and culture, the natives can be brought around to our way of thinking. We would... It w we would have to pay three energy credits a month, but we would gain ten society. Construction complete. Let's do that on the de blocks. Observation post. Okay, so Manthal is done with the energy. 
Um, should we expand? Construction complete. No, because you need to expand first. Oh, we still haven't surveyed this planet. Oops. Um, you are doing this and this, and then you should go there, I guess. Um, mm -mm -mm. okay, so now that we've done that, we don't have any influence left. Not aggression back between the Citizen League and the Hasukar. Is there any big deposit anywhere? Here. Build that, build that, build that, build that. Construction complete. Oh, I should have been upgrading things. Construction complete. And we can now get... No, we can't get the living metal yet. I'm confused. Should we colonize more planets, guys? What do you think? Hmm. Ooh, with really 10 energy. Should we get more construction ships? Yep. Let's do that. Um... There we go. Not that you're doing anything, Construction but, Construction you know. complete. Okay. So you should be happier, right? Enclave Construction Incorporated. Construction complete. But you have so many demands, it's going to be ha uh, very difficult to get you happy. Incoming happy, transmission. Happy. Oh, oh, anomaly. A barren and lifeless world showing signs of once having supported biosphere in Ulasia. But hang on, hang on. This still looks good to me. Gravitic sensors, listening post. Nah. Improved reactor booster is good. Uh, FTL inhibitor. That helps if I'm being attacked. Plasma thrower. Let's do the barrier point defense and improve our um, destroyers. And then the Hasukar want an energy agree uh, research agreement and they'll give us minerals. Okay, sure. I don't mind. Now you are in our territory complete. And you like us Very good We could already get strategic resources And they have Mudigan crystals um, They vibrate and emit a unique musical tone That has a calming effect on most sapiens But it costs a lot of energy credits Oh, oh well, hang on, we have 5,000 Hang on, hang on, hang on Let's go to the artisan troop and I want the Ministry of Culture. And it is a deal. It improves our governing ethics attraction, country unity production by 10% each. Yes! Very good. Now let's go to Arumis. Small Arisat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Simtanaska 2. It appears to have been self-sufficient and remains from several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. Ooh, that's creepy. It's like a battle royale. We have downloaded all of the data found in the colony's limiting limited databanks. <laughs> Ministry of Culture. Yes, please. But we need a Rumian. <laughs> On it. So we're gonna have to do a shuffle. And then you have nothing to do, you poor soul. Um, stronghold? We don't have that yet here. Onamaki. Terraforming candidate! Our detailed survey of Ulasia 3 has revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. There are significant deposits of frozen water at the polar ice caps and beneath the planet's surface. The existence of valley networks suggests that the water may once have flowed freely. Terraforming this planet would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the technology to accomplish this monumental task within a realistic time frame. Very good. Very, very good. And there's also a wormhole there. Huh. Now you... We could close off this section. Or we could go there. Let's close off this section first. You construct that, and then you, you should go here. Because I have use for you over there. And... 
We have a lot of things we can upgrade. The bio lab. Oh, we should probably do that. Power plant. Yes. And that's all we have. We're poor. We're very poor. And I was also looking at whether I should be... I'm doing it again. Doing it again. No, still nothing from the... Uh... What's it called again? Hasuka. Now, you don't have... Well, the Ilthaka. Where are you again? Oh, there. And they kind of like us. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're both spiritualists. And they are equivalent to us. Ooh. Hang on. What about you guys? Inferior. Construction complete. Hmm. We uh, need to work on our ships again. Anomaly found. Anomaly in Alassia. Unusual energy readings. Briefly detected some unusually energy readings. It could have be a glitch or a sign of something more. Okay. Do we... Um, yep, we can get this. Um, can we already do the dark matter? I don't, I don't think so. Or maybe we can. Let's see. Nope. Dark matter drawing technology. And we don't have that yet. Okay. Um, ships maybe first? Reinforce the fleet. Oh, that'll just be corvettes though. I want destroyers. Construction complete. Bunker bot. We have traced the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Ulasha 4 to a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. Our researchers suspect that it may have been there for several thousand years, hard at work solving a single very complex problem, the nature of which still eludes us. When the crew attempted to interact with the computer, they discovered that the facility, which had appeared both abandoned and unguarded, was in fact operated by a security AI, the highest purpose of which seems to be frying its visitors alive. <laughs> okay. As the crew defeated the AI, it broadcasted a message to an unknown recipient. We can say, scrap it for parts and get 100 minerals. That's not a whole lot. Use it to boost our own research. We'll get engineering research plus 10, or let it continue its mysterious calculations. Whatever problem the computer is trying to solve, it seems important. Where is that? Here. Eulacia. Well, I am going to trust Sokba School, because you are a level 6 scientist, so let it continue its mysterious calculations. We can't do this yet. Nope. So let's go here. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, move up. Construction or not. complete. This is going to be creating a problem very soon. It's gonna take a while before he gets there. Construction complete. Hmm. Might be pirates. System survey complete. Another anomaly. Cor cold heart potential. Extensive probing, but we could find something substantial. Let's get the Starfleet. Eh, uh, here? Maybe at least here. That's not far, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about the um, piracy risk here. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Um, let's see. I do still want to upgrade. Oh, hang on. You're on a food tile. You should not be on a food tile. Let's see. You should um. I guess be doing research or or stronghold. Let's clear that tile, then you can go to the stronghold. The planet Ulasia 6 is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this find like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. So we get inspired science recruits. 20% survey speed and 20% anomaly research speed. 
for 120 months. Bam. I remembered, I remembered. Okay, let's uh, get more power. Amaki can probably do the same. Yep. I want to wait for that because we really, really need the energy credits now that our fleet is uh, flying about our territory. So let's get that going first. How, how much does it cost? Oh, one more credit. We also need the the mountain range tile blocker technology. Scientific see. breakthrough achieved. <laughs> Destroyer hull points. Plus 200. Uh, get cruiser again. Mining network 2. Or living metal. We were gonna do that, weren't we? But that's a lot. That's gonna take a while. Let's at least get the cruiser tech. Rivalry. Citizen League of Raxicodium and the Illicon. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you fight it out, guys. See if we care. Tile blocker cleared. We kinda don't. Okay. So this is clear now. You can move here. And we're gonna build the stronghold. And we need that on the... Oh, we already have one. Oops. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> we don't need a second one, do we? Nah. Let's get science going. Well, that was useful. Oh. And now they are both rivals. Very well. See if I care. Let's see. You... Anomaly found. Oh, we have the influence now. Okay. Unusual moon in Monakadir. Sure, research it. Starbase outpost. We are expanding like crazy. Oh, you have arrived. Okay. Let's at least get you built. And then you're not doing anything. Okay. Can we uh, already mine the Aurelium ore? Nope. We are, you know, it seems like we're doing very well, and then we can't do anything that I want to do. Artificial moon. Deeper scans of Manakadir 2A's crust confirm that what the crew already suspected. It is no ordinary moon. The entire planetary body is an artificial construct made out of exceptionally mineral-rich rock, packed around a massive steel framework. Likely, it was created to slow the rotational speed of Manakadir 2, making the days longer and tides higher, priming it for habitation. As far as we can tell, nobody ever settled the planet. Okay. Oop. Uh, did I just... No, I didn't. Why, why, why are you... Eh, eh, whatever. Um, Shoes has somebody without a job. You. Construction complete. Special projects. Let's see, complete. we also we should get the Paradise Dome. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Gulanthas are large, flat herbivores that have evolved internal gas pockets, enabling them to hover a few centimeters above the ground. They move about in herds consisting of a few dozen animals, grazing on the moss and lichen that can be found on the windswept plains of Elutra C3. They are ruthlessly hunted by the planet's apex predators, and our biologists on the ISS Imago estimate that only a few hundreds of Gulantha herds remain. One of these, consisting of nine animals, has been successfully collected and will be brought back to a Rumis. Anomaly found. A uh, grey goo anomaly, the planetary body. Monocadir 5 appears to be covered in some matter of greyish substance, possessing strange properties and varying metallic Construction complete. Let's build the paradise dome here. We also need the food, so uh, it makes sense. Um, can we do it here too? Construction complete. Yep. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 we can't. Hang on, we can't. Uh, now that we can't do that anyway, let's uh, upgrade the planetary uh, other reassembled ship shelter first. Seems to make sense. Lacking 4.6. Grey goo. After detailed analysis, Officer Sock the school has discovered that the strange metallic substance coating the surface of Manakadir 5 in fact comprises of billions upon billions of nanites. 
These nanites are microscopic, self-replicating micro-machines, perhaps created by a past civilization for some unknown purpose. The volume and density of this nanite sludge is remarkable, adding billions of tons of mass to the underlying planet. It would appear this, these tiny self-replicators entered a state of runaway reproduction at some point in the past, engulfing the planet and everything on it. In studying the nanites, the crew has made some exciting new findings that will undoubtedly aid us in our own research. Ooh, we, got, we gain a technology. Scientific Assembly pattern. breakthrough achieved. Building built speed, plus 25%. So that's nice because we didn't have to do it ourselves. And we're a very lazy race sometimes, remember, because we're cats. So anything someone does for us is welcome. Uh, where are you? Oh yeah, you're still there. But I'm, I'm still prioritizing this expansion. Now we could get you. System survey complete. Oh, we already have. No, we don't. Oh, hang on. It was this one that I wanted to get. I says the Kermic was forced to return achieved. to Lothandra from Zubin because it is within the borders of the Oxbraxy Confederation. What? So? Oh, you, you got it before we did? No! The Why? What? Okay. Y you can have it your way if you want. Hmm. We can't attack them because they have a defensive pact. But we also have a defensive pact with the Hasukar. So if they attack us, they'll face the same problem. Okay, well, close our borders to you. And um, we'll be rivals. And I believe that will make somebody very happy. The Order of the Burning Star. Yep. Still not happy enough though. What? Wow, okay. We have barrier point defense. Cold fusion reactor, hyperdrive, energy nexus, ooh, wormhole travel. Let's do the cold fusion reactor. Um, and we have another tradition. Yep, for sure. You chose a very bad time to do this, uh, Oxbraxy. I don't know why you would do that. Now what I could do, if I wanted to be really mean, but I don't have the energy credits, is go to the uh, Bavondon Marauders and say... Oh, they're already raiding. And say raid the Oxbraxy, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I also can't. However... I mean, I don't know why you're doing this, but um, we're gonna kill you if you uh, do anything to us. Let's see, we also have you going, you, and we have a science ship that is, uh, yeah, missing. Um, 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 yep, I think that's it for now. Rivals with allies, but they, um, allies. Wow. We also have a uh, non-aggression pact, though. Oh, but that's not the same as the defensive pact. Ouch. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have a defensive pact. That means I cannot attack them, but they can attack me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, things just got interesting. And on that note, I'm going to leave you guys here and think about what we're going to do. I think we're going to reinforce our fleet. And it's all the way up there, so that's not very good. We also need to quickly upgrade the Starhold. But um, I'm sure we can hold them off, because we, we are the Romian hierarchy, and they are nothing. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in Rumian Hierarchy come out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8pm CET. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.